All right, so this is our presentation on the excretory system. The first thing that you need to be aware of is the difference of osmoregulation and excretion. Osmoregulation refers to the maintenance of solute and water balance inside of the body, whereas excretion is the removal of nitrogenous waste. So just a little thought exercise for you. How do things come into the body? Um, obviously, because I'm not there, I'm not going to wait for you to respond. Um, remember that things come into the body when you ingest them, um, digest them, and then absorb them. Um, so every, everything that gets absorbed is in the small intestine. It enters either your circulatory system in the case of water-soluble compounds, or it enters into the lymphatic system in the case of uh, water-insoluble compounds. Um, anything that can't be absorbed by the body is obviously ingested, uh, in other words, it comes out uh, in the form of feces. So how do um, we know what happens in between there? Uh, remember that anything that can be absorbed by the human body will be absorbed by the human body, regardless of whether it needs it or not. So if you drink lots of salt water, um, even if you don't need salt, you're going to absorb all of that uh, inside of you. And then obviously you can die um, from that. So don't drink salt water. Um, just taking a look at this uh, is a little diagram um, reminding you of where where do you actually get your water from. Um, lots of people say like, oh, you're supposed to drink uh, two liters of water a day. That's not really true um, because you can actually get most of those two liters of water from solid food. Uh, so you can see here down with a human, uh, almost 50% of all of your water comes straight from the food that you eat. Um, you get about 40% of it from drinking and another 14% uh, comes from metabolic um, byproducts. Remember that when you go through cellular respiration, um, one of the products is water. And so we get 14% of our water just from breaking down uh, carbohydrates or proteins or any other um, food compound. Um, so, you know, please don't uh, think that you need to drink two liters of water a day. Obviously, you might need to drink more if you're, you know, living in a climate like Guadalajara or going out and playing soccer. Um, but it's not a standard rule that everybody should follow. Um, kind of one of the cool things that you can think about is, uh, for example, this kangaroo cat. Where does it get its water from? Um, it's getting almost none of its water uh, from actually drinking it. Uh, this is an example of a desert animal and a type of adaptation that it has to deal with small amounts of water in its environment.